this strapping lad with the sword. Finally, no one was paying me the slightest heed. Is something wrong? At the university, the students would hang on my every word. Sadly, this far from home, I'm just a vagrant greybeard. The university? You're a scholar. A specialist in ancient cultures, the most accomplished in all Valisthea, some have said. Not that I look the part in these tattered rags. In my heyday, no obstacle could have kept me from my studies. Yet here I am, a wizened windbag, bested by the many steps of Tabor. The answers I seek lying just beyond my enfeebled reach. Would you do an old man a kindness and brave the stairs in my stead? You'll be amply rewarded, of course. Climb the stairs and... And memorize a few inscriptions for me. Uh, assuming you know your letters, that is. Uh, some courteous soul is rumored to have carved clues to Tabor's rich history into stones dotted about the village. Uh, three of them, to be precise. One each to the north, south, and east. I'm here in the hope that those carvings might shed light on a riddle I've been pondering for some time. Namely, the otherwise undocumented origins of Tabor's unique people. Uh, people quite unlike those of neighboring lands. I can't promise I'll remember everything perfectly. Remember what you can. I'll piece together the rest. Make for the domed pavilions, and you'll have no trouble finding the stones. If it wasn't for those domed roofs protecting the stones from the elements, the truth of Tabor's history would have been lost centuries ago. Farmers must have settled here in Tabor. What golden plains might the wanderers have called home, I wonder? And a scratch on them. So it's these stones to Canva and the rest of the boxes. No history would be complete without mention of the mother crystals. I should speak to the old scholar. Before I forget everything I've read. How are those new boots treating you? The engravings were in good repair considering their age. Oh, what that I could have seen for myself. Oh, come, don't tease me now. What did you learn of this place and its people? Uh, let's start with the engraving to the south, shall we? Oh, what did it say? Guardians of the Crystal, the first stones of Tabor, sacred hold thy noble blood till ends the mother's labor. I'm pretty sure that was it. Fascinating. It would seem the founders of this city were descendants of those fallen charged with protecting the mother crystals. But oh, whatever could have driven the Guardians so far from their sacred charges, I wonder? The engraving to the north is next, I think.
Wanderers of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone. With pride recall thy noble past, and make these rocks a home. Or... I think that was it, at least. No doubt you're right. There are vestiges of nomadic customs and Tabor its guardian roots could never account for. This is proving most enlightening. Now, for the final stone. Children of the hunters, now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing and give praise her gracious hand. That's all three. And so, we add primitive farmers to Tabor's founding peoples, the final piece of the puzzle. Three engravings, one for each of the three peoples to have settled Tabor in ancient times. Guardians of the Mother Crystal, wanderers from across the plains, and last but certainly not least, hunters turned farmers. Little wonder it was so difficult to trace the roots of Tabor's culture. Those roots reached down through three distinct traditions. Nonetheless, one cannot help but wonder why this fact is not better known among scholars, given that the stones stand here for all to see. Too many stairs, perhaps. Ha! <laughs> Too many by far. Here. Yeah, and thank you. For years, I have pondered the mysteries of Tabor's founding. Would that I had made the journey as a younger man, when stairs held none of their terror.